there. So today we are going to, excuse me, uh, today we are going to talk about norms and the meaning of test scores. So the big idea here is that test scores are meaningful with context. Uh, raw scores in isolation are absolutely meaningless. Like what does a 1600 on an SAT mean? It depends. It's either very impressive if you're out of two sections or it's a little below average. So that alone, that little bit of context changes your perception. Now, the meaningfulness of these scores are tend to be based on norms. So when I say for the SAT, for example, that 1600 is impressive because it's the top score out of the two section version of the test versus out of 2400 version. That is below average on, yeah, so that's about average to less than average. It's okay, it's 100 points above what we would expect to see from the average person. So it's, it's still impressive, but less so, even though those numbers are identical, because the context and how that performance is relative to others is why we're impressed. Um, now, often test scores are either expressed as developmental levels or relative positions within groups. So that's kind of the big idea is interpretation and context. So the roadmap for this module is kind of as follows. Now, before I go into this, I wanna have a quick note. So I've included a few outside videos. Now, many of these videos are on the ancient side. I did this because frankly, I wanted to make sure that all students would have access to the materials. So I wanted videos that I could legally host myself. In other words, that those were that were out of copyright or explicitly public domain. So like videos from like the 30s, 40s, 50s, or produced by the government. So I've done my best to edit and remaster the footage with some primarily with like post-processing audio to get rid of that like sound that's really awful um, or and adjust the color balance so that you can watch them and not have your eyes bleed. Now I'm doing this because I want to show you other perspectives and I'm trying to adjust this and format this class, excuse me, so that we get as much of the same in-person experience where I bring in a lot of outside resources and people. So, so that's why I'm including outside videos. And the reason they're ancient is I wanna make sure that everyone has access to them because what might be accessible to me and uh, might either be taken down by YouTube or uh, may not be available in all countries because a sizable chunk of our class is international. And I don't want them to be left out or be forced to use uh, a terrible VPN, like an ineffective VPN. So that's why they're ancient, uh, but I still think they're good. Uh, I spent a lot of time finding these outside sources. So they're not just like me trying to fill up busy work time. Um, and I will do my best to explain why these videos in particular are helpful, but in general, one of my goals is to give you multiple perspectives on a topic, as well as give you more context. So for example, in this module, I've included at least two. Um, I'm still producing it, and it's possible I might've found something else equally awesome. So, uh, I've included some information that's been produced by the U.S. Department of Defense on criterion reference testing. Uh, I found that they gave pretty good examples. This video is from like the 70s. So it, it, it is an experience, but I still think it's pretty helpful. 
because uh, it is designed by people who use these tests all the time. Because uh, it gives you those examples that I can't in person. Now, in addition, I've per included uh, a video by itself called Interpreting Test Scores Realistically. This was produced by Education Testing Services. Uh, I found it to be really helpful because again, it brings together a lot of the ideas we've talked about so far, and it highlights a lot of the same issues that were, have been, are still raised in modern testing. Uh, you can kind of view my slides as the modern testing side. The book is the slightly older testing. And some of these videos like ETS is from 1961 uh, have been er early testing. And this concerns are very similar. So I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, so yeah, and also, you know, they're kind of fun. But anyway, so in terms of our roadmap, that's where we're going. Uh, I'll additionally talk about some statistical concepts that are good for you to remember if you forgot from your research methods classes. Uh, I will, so that's kind of, so there'll be a little review. Uh, but it'll be framed from a testing perspective. So I encourage you to still watch them. Maybe not take such detailed notes, but at least watch them because um, you'll need those tools. Uh, we'll talk about norms and like comparison groups. I'll also talk about reference tests. That's where the Department of Defense video is gonna pop in. I'll talk about minimum qualifications and cutoff scores and we'll wrap with interpreting test scores realistically, or that's the current plan. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, so let's, let's plow ahead.